Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon Paradox Runs. Last run was an amazing wood beam run. This run, let's see what we're gonna get. As I take another drink of this extremely flat Dr. Pepper. Oh my god. Okay. What the hell do you do about this? Do you... Do you use the red bandana? Do you say to yourself, that's the spirit of the paradox runs. If you get an item, you gotta stick with it for your entire run. And if you get a, a meme item like Woodbeam or Casey, you gotta stick with that for your entire run. I mean... We could. Although I feel like I've done this in the past where I've picked up the red bandana as a paradox start and when I don't immediately do an Alt F4 quick restart, I do a run and I'm like, eh. <laughs> but I don't know, make me a believer, change my mind. I'm that, that guy in the picture uh, in front of like a school campus with a poster in front of his booth saying, I believe this, change my mind. I believe this item's bad, change my mind. But we'll at least run it for the run because it's only one run, you know? And then we never have to take the item ever again. And I'm not gonna talk about Red Bandana anymore because I repeat myself very often when I talk about Red Bandana. So, hey, we got the D-pad. It's pretty good. It's a decent boss killing gun, although we do have the alternate robot starting gun, which is good on its own. Damn it. But the benefit to having the D-pad is that we can steal. I don't want to steal from the first floor shop because there's a pretty decent chance that the first floor shop will actually um, disappear if I steal from it. You do that by using the grappling hook effect of the D-pad, which is left, sorry, left, left click, you get a grappling hook. Um, and the reason why I, I don't, it's not a guaranteed is, oh, never mind, we're gonna steal the A key. This is an awesome run, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> click, 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 click. I stole the wrong fucking item. God damn it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, we got the book of chest anatomy instead. Did I not click on the right item? What did I do wrong, the game? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at, I gotta think about this now. What, what happened? Left, left, click. You wanna know what it, what it is? The moving left, I think, messed me up. I think I, I tried to account for that, and it, uh, 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 uh for me out of my life right now. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. <sighs> <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> Restart, Alt F4. Well played, I'm in tears. <laughs> God damn it. But by the way, that's why you don't want to steal from Bello, because it's a pretty high likelihood that he's going to catch you immediately. If he catches you, you're going to lose your shop privile privileges for the rest of the run. He does have a couple of good items, Galactic Medal of Valor, Laser Sight. I might steal one of them, but we're gonna buy one of them first, at least. But I think we're just gonna buy one, buy the key, and then move on, honestly. Ugh. Cheated in? Nah, 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 nah. If there's one thing yoink, that I will not do, it's cheat unless it's a cheat via mod. I'll do that. You son of a you look at him. Look at frickin Look at him! He's all high and mighty and sure of himself. You suck, dude! Probably gonna have to steal Galactic Metal of Valor, unfortunately. Steal from out of the room. Uh, it doesn't always work, I don't think. Sometimes you can steal from Bello if you're in the room, and the reason is is that when he's going from his state of, you know, arms crossed, Her, hello, how are you doing in my shop, to pounding on the table, don't fire in my shop. I think when you're going between those states, sometimes he uh, skips over the getting caught state.
And by him skipping over the getting caught state, you can actually, uh... Where are you? There you are. You can actually steal from him without getting caught. But it seems to me to be a little bit unreliable. I don't really use it. If anyone knows of a reliable way of stealing with the grappling hook, feel free to let me know. Random Riveter is saying do it from outside of the room. You know what? We might give it a shot. We do have a decent amount of money. We can buy most everything we want from this shop and then see if it works. Although it's really hard to get the aim right. Like I can't I can't do that from outside of the shop, I think, but you know what? Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. What do you think? You think you caught me? Maybe we should just leave. <laughs> leave and never come back. Um, we can open up the chest. Hey, perfect time for disarming personality. We might have lost our shop. Now, do we have anything that puts out a fireplace? Ugh, I don't remember seeing a water barrel. I really hope I didn't destroy it. But if we have to skip the oubliette, honestly, hey, shorter run, shorter time using frickin' wood beam. <laughs> Not wood beam, that was the last run. Frickin' bloodied scarf. No water barrel in there, I see. I don't even know if he caught me, but I kinda don't wanna go into the shop just in case. Anyways. Go through the wall with the scarf. Where is the room, though? If you can go through the wall with the scarf and you don't have to hit the switch, that'd be good. Although maybe you mean hit the the switch behind the fireplace using the scarf. I don't know if this will work either. Yeah, I can't get through the fireplace, but maybe I can glitch myself through the secret wall wherever it is. Um, it, I guess if we do a search, maybe we'll find it. We're just looking for this icon to turn white, which will indicate that that is where the oubliette passage is. I've never tried this before, so I don't know if it'll work. Just doing a quick scan. Might as well. You know, I've never done this before, so it's a good experiment, I think. Can Abe figure it out? Or does it even work? Maybe it doesn't work. Riveter says it doesn't work. Uh, I guess the only place we haven't tried is down here. Yeah, I haven't... I, I can't even see it. Like, I don't know where the secret room is. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Am I hovering the icon too close to the walls? I mean, that's what that's what I mean. Like, I don't understand how this this works, how the mechanic works of using bloodied scarf to glitch through a wall. Someone will have to send me a link to a video showing how it works or something. Doesn't matter. We can skip the oubliette every once in a while. And let's be honest, we might not even have a freaking shop anymore. It is, there is a non-zero possibility that a shop has disappeared. And if our shop has disappeared, we're gonna be pretty sad about it. You know what would have been nice? Stealing the A key. There you go. He didn't catch me. Now, I don't know why. Uh, you know, I don't know if that was because he slammed his fist on the ground when I fired in his shop and then by stealing from him he didn't catch it because he was still technically in his um, conversation window of hey I caught you stealing from me don't do that you know I don't know why he didn't catch us there's probably a couple of different mechanics at play regarding that but at least right now we still got a shop I don't think it's something that always works, I think it sometimes works. So I'm kind of surprised that it worked the uh, the first time there.
How come we killed one, but not the other? We killed one grenade, but the other one still lived. Seems strange. Also, this is an interesting room. It's like a mirror. It spawned the same enemies two times, but in opposite corners. I will say, I love having a reload increase with the camera. The camera has a very long reload time. I'm a maestro. I'm a maestro of the wind-up gun. <laughs> oh. Ugh. You can still use items and keys when you go through other secret rooms using the bloodied scarf trick. I see, yeah. So we can go through the wall that is the secret wall, and we might be able to interact with items. But there might be a pit here. Okay, so there is a pit. It did load the secret room. I can teleport around. It's not a mimic. We can open it up. We can get Tetris gun. And we can leave without using a blank. And the secret room is like white on the mini map. Weird. But I, I understand it now. I understand how that works now. It's a weird bug. Because, I mean, that, let's be honest, that, that is what it is. It's a bug. Does that necessarily make the bloodied scarf good? I, I, I don't consider bugs usually when I when I rate items. You know, I'm I'm pretty vanilla guy. I I'm playing my my the gungeon. Yes, I know, but you know, I, I I like to rate the items as if they were working correctly. I don't like to abuse bugs that often, but it, it is nice to understand how it works. I don't think it makes the item better because I think it's because here's the thing. I expect it to get fixed at some point. If not via dodge roll via modding, so eventually that's going to be removed. And then what do you what what is your uh, your logic going to be for if it's a good item? Good item. Pretty vanilla guy. He says while eating chocolate. In my chest freezer, a friend did bring me. Well, not me. They brought the house because they were having like a D and D night and they left some of their stuff behind. Because, you know, they just bring things for for everyone. There's some, like, M&M ice cream sandwiches, both vanilla and chocolate. And I think the chocolate ones are better. There you go, I'll say it. Oh god, I teleported and broke the bullet, which kept me safe. I got hit because I didn't dodge fast enough because I'm still not used to the scarf. I, I know I should be teleporting more, but right click the dodge is just ingrained in my head. You know, it's hard to, to make that change. It also feels like um, Tetris gun is not that good against ammo conda because if the pieces of the Tetris gun hit the body segments, they don't stick it feels like. That, that could be wrong. I mean, we've already taken damage. That might be wrong, but it feels like the um, pieces don't stick if they hit the body segments. Man, Tetris Gun is not good against Amaconda, is it? I mean, I'm also just not good with Amaconda because I'm not dodging. Like, <laughs> we'll, we'll use this item. We'll see, we'll, you know, make a run of using Bloodied Scarf. Doesn't dodge roll anymore. Like, I'm, that, that's what's happening is I've just stopped dodge rolling. That's probably not how I should be practicing using the item, but in my head it's like, I just don't care. I don't want to use it in any other way. That is definitely wrong! Still dodge roll, Abe. Pick up the SAA. Go to the shop, buy some stuff. No extra HP, but I'm not really worried that much about it. Things are cheaper, which is nice. We have two blue chests to open, we'll open them. We get some HP. 
We can sell that in the future. And we get... A reload upgrade. Which does make wind-up gun better. Lovely song. There's a Winchester, um, but I just wanted to go for the chest instead. Winchester can just F off. I also can't cheese his game. If I could cheese his game, I might go for it, but you can't cheese his game with the Blooded Scarf because this version of his game does not have platforms inside of it. <clears throat> Bladed Scarf should be an, a starting item for a special character. I mean, there was the the ninja and the cosmonaut, which were supposed to be uh, characters in Gungeon, but they they were unfinished for some reason. You could just make one of those a uh, a character, specifically the ninja, and then give them a starting bloodied scarf. There you go. Oh, I gotta sneeze so bad. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, that's good. Gotta love the upgraded wind-up gun. And you gotta love 25% damage up. And significantly faster reloads times two combined with the camera. Oh, that's good. Oiled Potion of Gun Friendship OP Please Nerf. You will reload extremely quickly with this combo. And he will also apply a lot, you know what? Apply a lot of knockback. Knock him into a pit and kill him. But you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, potion. And it ends up using too much ammo, I think, too quickly. gonna use a blank this time. I'm not gonna fiddle with cheese in the bloodied scarf. Don't worry about it. I also can't teleport on the mine tracks, which is weird. I could see that being a very important thing if you needed to dodge. Like, oh god, he's coming! What character would I recommend as a starting to a starting player? Probably the Marine. I think the Marine is the most uh, newbie-friendly character. The ammo drop means you can use whatever gun you want for, for at least the start of it. He's got a reload speed and accuracy bonus, a decent starting weapon. I think the Marine is probably your, your best starting character if you're just getting into Gungeon. Yeah, that's a lot of keys. Also, here's something that we can abuse. And that's not a glitch, I don't think. That's just intentional. Ba -dum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. It's like one room left. We can just teleport all the way over here. Hey, vampire lady. If only I had a little bit more HP and didn't take a buttload of damage on the freaking Amoconda. I can give you a little bit more. Right now, though, I can't really give you that much. All right, let's see what we're going to fight. Let's use Potion of Gun Friendship. What's with the, like, the red in front of the uh, tread notch? Oh, God. Like, there's a little bit of a... a red lighting effect in front of the Treadnought's cannon when I'm shooting the Tetris gun. I mean, maybe that's the red Tetris piece or something, but... I don't know, it feels a little weird. Where are you? Bum, 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 bum,
Yo, big shotgun. It's an item I haven't had a lot lately. In fact, I feel like I haven't had the big shotgun in like a hundred years. Two HP. You know, we do have cheaper shop prices. We should be able to buy the big heart piece and the small heart piece and then make a profit from them both. Uh, the small heart piece might actually just pay for itself. I don't remember, but we can at least buy the big heart piece. You know what? We can profit. I do believe that with cheaper shop prices, half hearts give you a profit. I think that without the cheaper shop prices, the half hearts are even. They pay even. Imagine Tetris Gun being your boss killer. I like Tetris Gun. I think it's kind of an interesting boss killer, and it's fun. Which is why I take it most of the time. Really? I thought there was a little bit more HP than that. It's still fine. It's not too bad. It will take Vorpal shots. We have nothing that is an anti-synergy with it. You know, we don't have a BSG or anything that just fires singular big bullets. We've got big shotgun, but this thing fires four shots. Three? Four? Something like that. Hmm. Okay, I'm swapping my, my drinks. Let's get my water. Ah. Anaconda is hardest boss in the game, says Melody. I don't think it's the hardest, but it can... Wrong gun. It can be one of the most annoying. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. We've already done everything on the floor. Camera, wind-up gun, let's go. And I will try... My best to actually use the dodge roll feature here. It's just so different that it takes me a little while to get used to. Maybe even longer than one run, I don't know. Ba -ba -ba -bum, bum 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 bum. Gotcha! One day I should also do the um bloodied scarf Casey thing. Apparently people like bloodied scarf plus Casey, although I would probably just get annoyed by it. You know what? Donk! <clears throat> Got him! Oh, I should have taken camera ammo. Gun Knight Greaves, huh? It's not bad. It's not too bad. It's pretty good, actually. Especially on, a, uh, especially on a run where I feel like I might need a little bit of extra HP. Tried to dodge, but again, it just came out a little bit too late because it's uh, not mouse down, it's mouse up when your dodge actually happens. And so... I usually mess it up. This is a run I get revenge for all the times I got telefragged and I'm the one who telefrags the enemies. Here's the thing, that would be a pretty cool mechanic. I would love it if you could actually telefrag the enemies when you're using the, uh, the bloodied scarf. I think that would be really fun. The tagline could be, who's fragging who now? And it would be, if you if you telefrag on an enemy, you do damage to them, and you're immune to contact damage. You know, boom. Ba -bom -bom. You shot, man. I do not really need the ability to fly. In fact, I think that even if I could fly, I think that the outline will still avoid pits, which is kind of annoying, because you would want it to go over pits, because that's where you're the safest. What is the camera gun act? He was jammed. What is the camera gun actually good for? It's a good gun! 
Camera gun's amazing. Not like the a 10 out of a 10, but it's like an 8 out of 10 easily. Does damage to all the enemies on a room. Can be used for like an entire floor, probably. God, again! Again with this gun! Find me my, where's my cell creep? Cell creep, come here. Take it! Get it out of the game! <laughs> Please. Does give me a lot of money though. Definitely probably worth getting the cat throne now. We'll just take ammo. I'll take cat throne. Flight is still okay. Now we have a uh, a dodge that fires bullets. I stood there and took damage. Well, I didn't stood there and take damage. I thought I was going to be fast enough. I wasn't. Yeah, camera is, is, you know, technically perfect accuracy. You're gonna always hit your shots. It does a decent amount of damage. Three or four ammo kills an entire room. The big negatives about the camera is that it has a long reload time, which is negated on this run because we have two reload increases. Um, but even if you didn't have the reload up, all you really need to do is just use the camera and then when it's out of ammo and you have to reload it, just don't and switch your guns to something else. Like, there you go. You, you've weakened or killed enemies on the room. I'm not gonna use the freaking Tetris gun. This is not Tetris gun. This is big shotgun territory, let's be honest. Now it's Tetris gun. It doesn't have to be Tetris gun. It's Tetris gun because I want it to be Tetris gun. <laughs> Yo, we have far too many keys. There's a shop. I will buy the gold amulet. Particle flow. Better homing? There's many different uh, synergies that give you particle flow, it feels like, and I think it's always homing. Yeah. I think we can get rid of some guns here. I would like a little bit more cash for the next floor. So we'll dump this. We'll dump. We can still use D-pad to steal from the next floor, that's pretty good. We'll dump the... Honestly, we can dump Cruder Glaive. Everything else I actually kind of like. We could dump a Heart Locket. But because we have the ability to steal, we might not need it. You know what we can dump? We're, we have six keys, we don't need the Book of Chest Anatomy. And uh, after that, that's good enough. We also have lower shop prices, so we definitely have more than enough money. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Another thing about the camera is that you can get a lot of cool synergies with it that improve the damage substantially, like substantially. Oh my god, could you die? Oh my god, he's so fast. Like, you can get synergies with the- yeah, it's definitely better homing. You can get synergies with the camera that give you double shots, and with the double shots, you're going to do literally double damage, guaranteed. You're not going to miss any shots. Scatter shot. Um, you know, backup gun. I don't know if Shadow Bullets works, it'd be cool if it did. Uh, things like... Uh, I gotta think, gotta think, gotta think. Items like... Uh... I mean, damage upgrades works. What is it called? Tri uh, 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 Ring of Triggers, that's the one. That turns camera into a freaking nightmare gun because it'll kill everything on a room in one shot. You press space bar and everything dies. It's like a, a room-wide blank that's a gold ammo that times 10. 
So there's a lot of cool camera synergies. I mean, there's also camera synergies with, like, flash gun. Which are pretty cool. I'm also noticing something. The Zorgun actually does not have homing anymore. That is to say, it'll only home in if it gets the synergy lock on. It doesn't just home in on normal shots anymore. Very unusual. Later. Again, I'm, I'm not using the bloodied scarf like I should, but I, I keep trying to dodge roll, but my dodge roll is a little bit late because of uh, not taking into account mouse down, mouse up. It's something that I should probably work on if I'm going to practice the item, and I literally said that earlier in the run too, I know that. <laughs> but the point still stands. Eye patch has no downside with the camera. Yeah, but that's like such a minor benefit. It's a benefit, to be sure, but it's not like a benefit that you would normally think of with the camera. It's like, oh, hey, camera, now I can take eye patch. Nah, it's more like if you get the eye patch with the camera, you're like, oh, hey, good, it's a damage upgrade. Love it. Helix bullets camera. Yeah, I don't know if, if Helix Bullets, Scattershot, Shadow Bullets, I don't know if they actually work with the camera. I, I would expect that they would, but maybe they don't. Where are you? Oh! Is that a freaking mini boss? The hell are we gonna kill the mini boss with? Well, I guess we're just gonna use big shotgun, huh? Hello. Bum, 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 bum. That was pretty good. <laughs> we got plenty of HP back. That makes me very happy. Are out, are out of ammo with the camera though, which is unfortunate. A bonus room? Absolutely! We can fly. We don't have to even worry about the conveyor belts. That was an excellent room. Oh, I teleported into an enemy! I didn't see him! <laughs> and the one time I tried to use a uh, bladed scarf, I accidentally teleport directly into an enemy. Is that a golden ashen bulletkin? Looked very strange for a minute there. I'm also realizing now we have gold amulet, but like no amulet center, like no way of creating blanks. We get extra armor per floor, but that's it. Give me camera ammo, please. Chance bullets. It's okay. Ain't too bad. Back at full health. You jammed? You're definitely jammed. I'll save my rocket, because why not? Yeah, what is this, Pokemon? It's shiny. To kill the gun dead is my cause! Gun Chan! Oh, that's way too high for my voice. <laughs> <laughs> for a second I'm like, where'd those Tetris gunshots come from? Oh right! The item we just picked up! I do think you can chance bullet into camera shots, which is kind of nice. Uh, what do we want? Do we want ammo? No, we have enough ammo to kill the dragon. Let's just do it. We have Tetris gun, we have big shotgun. I will try my best. Two, 
to properly use the bandana. Yoink. All teleporting, all the time. I mean, I do really like it here. It, it I mean, I'll be honest, it, it's got its uses. <laughs> Oh, I almost got hit on that one. I can, I can also, if I want, teleport behind the dragon. This will be sketchy. Maybe um, the bl the scarf is just really good against the dragon, which is what I'm starting to believe now. It doesn't have to be perfect against every enemy, but against the dragon, you know, it's getting it's getting worked on. Just spending the ammo. You know, this this phase made pretty easy. Oh, one more. One more shot would have done it. Would have put this dragon in the grave. Mm. <sighs> Alright, let's go to Munch. We actually have a couple of guns that are out of ammo. We do have one ammo drop in the shop. Probably just gonna put that into the camera. Ah, uh, nah, the camera's got enough ammo. Tetris gun? Gun Munch the Zorgon? Zorgon isn't amazing, we'll Gun Munch it. And uh, on top of that, we'll put, oh, you know what? We have to use the D-pad first. We have to use it to get the chest, and we'll Gun Munch the, uh, we'll Gun Munch the heroine. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Tetris gun gets refilled. Buy the helm, buy the armor, buy the blank. Steal the heroine. Whoops, and then we'll uh, run out the ammo on the D-pad. We'll get some, uh, we'll get a new chest. Might give us a gun. If it gives us a gun, maybe we want to gun munch it. But we'll just cash in on the D-pad, exactly. <laughs> Composite gun is a very awesome boss killer. That is correct. I mean, it just freaking blanks everything. I wish we did not buy the, uh... <laughs> the ammo drop, but a recolor of the bandana. Cat Claw! Yo, we have 1600 ammo Cat Claw for bullet hell. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I didn't take any pictures of the dragon. Why use the camera on a dragon? The camera is mostly useful on crowds of enemies. We don't need to use it on a single enemy boss fight. You can use the camera against bullet twins, uh, trigger twins, and kill pillars. It's not amazing, but it will get the job done. And it'll, it'll ideally kill them at the same moment too, which is interesting. Just randomly firing t-shirts out of the cat claw. I don't know how I dodged that. I did dodge, maybe that saved me. I do like the random uh, camera shots, which I believe is what's causing the flashes.
<clears throat> Melody said Cat Claw earlier, and now you've got Cat Claw. There you go. I like Cat Claw. I really like the Cat Claw synergy that makes it fire uh, whatever your current gun is all around you 360 degrees whenever you take damage. That's a lot of fun. I also think right now there's no reason not to use the crap out of the Potion of Gun Friendship because we have a lot of ammo for guns. So its main negative, the fact that it's a little bit less ammo efficient, doesn't really matter anymore when we have just infinite frickin' ammo. I sucked him up! <laughs> what a fool, getting sucked up by a shotgun. <laughs> what a loser bulletkin. Ow. I did just walk into an enemy though. Maybe that makes me the loser. Everywhere. With our fast enough reload, I can basically fire reload every shot and not feel bad at all about wasting ammo because I'm not wasting any ammo. Yunk. Not using camera, but can you blame me? This is a lot of fun. <laughs> Go into the pit. Oh, almost got him. The reload is extremely quick, but you know, when you just stand next to a shotgunner and reload and suck him up into your gun. You gotta be happy about that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, where are you guys going? Oh, no, I'm, I'm trapped. I'm cornered. Oh, God. <laughs> you fucking fools. You believed me. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what we take ammo for. I mean, getting that partial drop, getting 20% all ammo is nearly full ammo if we didn't have blue bandana in all guns, so we're gonna be fine. Oh god. A lot of reloading sounds. Nah, I think, I think, I think you gotta go shotgun here. The explosions might break bullets. Even if they don't, it's very consistent, good damage. Almost certainly gonna be better than Tetris Gun anyways. Yoink, yoink. Trying to get good value out of the teleport. Dum dum dum. Ah. Nice. Add a mechanic where the gun gets a damage buff if you suck in a jammed enemy. That's an interesting idea. I would like to see it though where you just get like, um, you get generic shotgun bullets and then if you suck up an enemy, the enemies turn into special bullets. So you can suck up a red shotgunner and he turns into a, a like a red shotgun bullet that does like a specific effect when you fire it. That could be kind of cool. Hey EDU! Thanks for the resub, how you doing? Thank you very much. Seven months. Ah. I forgot to use my active item on the last fight, I think. Again, trying to just like actually do the short range teleport dodge and just getting the timing wrong. Duck 
カンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンドカンド Maybe that's an indication that I should dodge earlier, you know? Because I'm, I'm dodging too close to when the bullet impact is actually happening. But still a good run. Blue bandana is always amazing when you get it. Camera's lovely. Tetris gun. I do like Tetris gun plus potion of gun friendship because it does have a lot of ammo and you can get a lot of extra value from the projectiles that you fire. But a good run. Unfortunately, we didn't get any sort of a ammo lit. Synergy. We just had a couple of amulets, which is always nice when you take damage, but you don't want to take damage. Lots of reload up, thanks to the oiled cylinder plus ink,、uh, the Galactic Medal of Valor. We managed to, success to successfully steal from the shop without the shopkeeper noticing and use the bloodied scarf in order to access a secret room for free <laughs> without having to use a blank. So there you go. Good run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if you want to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.